everyone, welcome to Tesco Technologies Private Limited. My name is Saurav Mishra and today in this video we are going to talk about the Electro-Pneumatic with PLC. Its order code is 2223-6220.3.1810. So in this video we are going to talk about its components and its working. So starting with the components of the uh, Electro-Pneumatic Trainer Kit with PLC. There are two pages. Uh, this is the front page and the back page. Okay, so firstly, I will tell you about the components in the front page of this electromagnetic trainer kit with PLC. Okay, so moving uh, further, this is the connecting uh, wall through which you can uh, connect the uh, main pneumatic uh, pressure pipes, the compressor. This is the connector wall through which you can connect the uh, these uh, pipes and the compressor. This is the double uh, pilot wall. Okay. This is the main kit of PLC input output panel in which there is a power switch given, the power LED and a main supply with 230 volts, 3 ports for the 24 volt supply, uh, input supply and 3 ports for the common, 4 toggle switches is being given and 4 port switches is being given. This is the main uh, PLC which is in bit in this PLC input output panel. So there are eight uh, total 8 inputs and uh, 6 outputs with 2 as a ground, two ports as ground, and there are more six LED indicator ports. Okay, and this is the double pilot wall. This is the double solenoid wall through which you can connect these pressure pipes to the compressor. This is a single acting cylinder, air cylinder. This is the 5 by 2 uh, way roller, lever level. Okay, this is the proximity sensor in which the 24 volt ports and ground port has been given, and this is the limit switch. Okay, now I'll tell you the components of other phase. So now this is the another phase of uh, the electronomatic trainer kit. Okay, so the components is given. I'll uh, tell you about that. Uh, this is the single pilot wall. Okay, as we have seen in the earlier kit also. Okay, and this is the uh, regulator switch through which we can increase or decrease the pressure in the pipes. Okay, this is the connector switch. You can change you can increase or decrease the atmospheric pressure these are two pressure valves these both are the two pressure valves ok you can connect the pipes over here and then connect it to the compressor and this is a single solenoid wall on the other side we have seen the double solenoid wall ok this is the double acting cylinder and this is the 3 by 2 wave rural lever wall ok so these are the components of the electronomatic twin head now we will start with the circuiting and performance. So now we will start with the connection of this electro-pneumatic trainer kit. So first of all, we will take, a, we will take the patch ports, ok. And similar, you have to connect this 24 volt supply with this black port of the double solenoid wall and this common port with this black port of double solenoid wall next we have to take the toggle switches you can opt for any of the switches we are uh, we are having four toggle switches supposedly i have taken t1 toggle switch and connect with this red port of the double solenoid wall and taken t2 toggle switch and connect it with the Red port of the double solenoid wall. Okay. Also, you can change the position of these components. Okay, with the help of this Allen key, you can loosen them. Okay, like this, and you can change the position of this these components according to your convenience. Now we have to connect this mains cable with this PLC input output panel ok and now you have to connect you have to take this pipe ok and connect from this wall always check that it, uh, after inserting this it will get locked so for removing this pipe you have to just press this lock and then uh, you have to remove this ok so just insert it over here and connect another end with the compressor like this ok 
So while connecting all these pipes, you, you must ensure that there should be no leakage. You have to cross check the connection, that the connection should be proper. Okay, now we are uh, going to give the pressure to the strainer kit. So just make the switch on. Okay. So you have to make the switch on. And now you have to connect the compressor. Okay. So it will make the pressure in the compressor. So after uh, the, the pressure is being made in the compressor, you can remove the socket. Okay. Now we will on the wall. Now we will on the wall for the of the compressor. So just take this. If the if the position of the toggle switch will be on the low, it will uh, come outside, and if both will be on the high, it will come inside. Okay. So this is the working of the Single acting cylinder. You can check the pressure. Okay. So now further, you have to connect this connector cable with the delta PLC. This PS uh, PS5 connector uh, should be connected with this uh, delta PLC, and another USB part should be connected with your system. Okay, for the for the connection with the software. So as I have already shown you the manual operation of this uh, trainer kit. Uh, you can also uh, operate it with the software part. So now we will start with the software part of electronomatic trainer kit. So you have to download this software ISP soft and the step by step procedure is given in the manual. In this we will uh, up, our screen will appear in which you can draw the letter diagram. Okay. And uh, then afterwards, there is a second software that is COMGR. After installing it, it will appear in the shortcut menu bar in which you can set the baud rate for the driver. Okay, you can select the node ID. Uh, okay, and at last, the it will auto detect the baud rate since it is showing. Okay, uh, it's changing. Then cancel it. So here is the complete demonstration about this product from my side. If you have any query, you can contact at Tesla Global website or any other information related to this product. You can refer to the manual and information related to other products is given in the links given in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, just like, share and subscribe to our channel.